Twas the eve before Christmas, the night the Grinch went to steal, when Santa enchanted the toys he had left for Whoville. It just so happened in that last little Who house, several creatures were stirring, but not a one was a mouse. Mom and Dad were still snoring deep into the night, and all the Who children were cuddling their pillows just right. Without warning on the roof, there was a big bang, bum, crash, which luckily did nothing to that long winter's nap. <laughs> With a grunt and a shimmy, the Grinch in his perfect Santa suit slid down the Who's chimney and his dog Max followed too. But unlike other houses on the Grinch's list that night, this one wouldn't be robbed without a good fight. For the elf on the shelf who watched the Who's all that season, noticed Santa's beard was quite a bit uneven. The Nutcracker, too, with her inquisitive brow, wondered if Santa didn't look different somehow. He had a green face and not enough of a belly, and when he laughed, it moved nothing like a bowl full of jelly. And as he nabbed presents with an evil disposition, it only confirmed the toy's existing suspicion. They sprang into action, one with a march, one with a leap. They grabbed some wrap and tied up the Grinch's feet. With a shout of timber, the Grinch fell with a thud. He rolled his eyes and let out a ugh. As he wiggled and writhed in the living room floor, he thought, perhaps this is why I never stole Christmas before. He called out to Max, hoping to get help, but the dog wouldn't challenge the Nutcracker or the elf. So the Grinch had no choice. He would leave empty-handed. This house and its toys he would have to abandon. Reluctantly, he left a new crick in his neck, headed back to Mount Crumpet, which was quite a long trek. The toys got to work cleaning the house when they heard a little squeak, a bit bigger than a mouse. Awoken from slumber when she heard a large noise, little Sayla Lou Who approached the enchanted toys. They gave her some water and patted her head, then sent the sweet little Who back onto bed. And thus ends the adventure of this one Christmas evening. Enjoy your sweet thoughts as you lay dreaming. May tomorrow be merry, may tomorrow be bright. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.